Welcome back out of Body Explorers. Today we're going to talk about the Montauk Monster. And after this video, I don't know, you tell me if you would continue calling it a monster. Now, why am I talking about it? Because everything's connected to the Montauk Project. And yes, I did a video on that. Because in my out of body, I see a lot of interesting animals. Now, what everybody should know is the Montauk Monster rolled up on shore on July 12th, 2008. And what happened was they noticed this thing and it became this whole big story and people are like, what is it? What is it? And they said it was a washed up, watered down, deteriorated raccoon. Then they said it was a pit bull. Then they said it was a turtle without a shell. Then they said it was a big ass squirrel. Like, Whatever they said, they never came to the conclusion of what it is. So let me show you the picture of what it is. That's the most famous picture. That's all over the world. But if you really do some research, there's more pictures. Now I found another picture. But part of me is trying to still figure this out because I have seen some animals like this in my outer body. Now let's get back to what exactly happened. So they also talk about that the Montauk monster rolled up on shore because there's an island up above it. It's called Plum Island. Now Plum Island is on the North Fork of Long Island. So let me show you on the map where it all falls. Now this is my map and I also put that in my Montauk project video because this is all related. Now on Plum Island, the government purchased Plum Island in 1897. So now they had this island for two wars, don't forget that. And now they had this fort. You can look this up, lots of research on it, and it's in museums, but they won't even allow us on this property of the island. Now in 1946, it was abandoned. And now in 1949, it was deactivated. You know, it's under Fort Terry, so you can look at all that information. Now in 1950, they decided to use this property again. It was Operation Paperclip after World War II, Shield recruited German scientists with strategic value. They used this facility for as a research center for biological warfare testing by the army. Hmm, you do the math. Montauk Project is on Camp Hero. 1954, Plum Island became the Plum Island Animal Disease Center and that was run by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. So, do you see how this is all working? And I want you to also know, now, now in 2003, Homeland Security now runs it. And the biggest thing that you need to know, Plum Island is closing in 2023. It was all about animal disease control. They are moving the facility to Manhattan, Kansas. Now look in the map, Manhattan, Kansas is the center of the universe it looks like because it's in the center of the United States. But Manhattan, Kansas, Manhattan, you decide. But let's get back to the Montauk Monster. Now, I did some research on what are weird animals. So what would you say, is this a monster? Is this a monster? How about this? Or, you know, a duck decided to mate with a seal. You tell me, like, is it the animal's fault that they are now this breed? Maybe someone crisscrossed their genetics. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. So let me tell you about one of my antibodies. On November 13th, 2021, it was a Saturday, I had an antibody with an interesting being. Now, I already know I'm in an antibody because there was something that was very different. And they usually show me actors and actresses because they have symbols for me, just like when I do readings. And it makes me feel comfortable. So here I see Sarah Jessica Parker, and she's holding on to a book. And she tells me it's a book of magic. And now I'm kind of like, wow, let me see it. I would like to see it. And as I got closer, she pulled away and she wouldn't let me have the book. So I kind of was like, annoyed but I was very fixated on it and now I see my friend's dog Bella I only saw Bella in the corner of my eye but as she came really close I started petting her and I, as I pet her I go oh she's so soft and I was like her hair is like really big and as soon as I looked down it was not Bella it was my pet though it started communicating with me so I want you to know what it looks like it looked like a porcupine there it is 
It's a porcupine, but it had a snake-like tail. It cuddled up next to me and it literally told me it was blind. My pet, this cute little being, was able to shield by its hair. So it was able to come up. And like I said, if you look at it again, it was able to come up like a porcupine and have a shield on it. I knew I had to communicate with it through my third eye. I continue to talk, I woke up. This is not the first time I've seen a being like this. This is only one that I'm going to introduce to you so that you are comfortable when I start showing you the other beings that I see. And now that's my question. Do you still want to call it a monster? I don't know. I'm not going to call it a monster. Here, monster, monster, monster. Here, monster, monster, monster. That poor animal has a conscience. And it probably didn't know it was going through this confusion. But I'm going to tell you this. It was definitely not what they say it was. It was a crisscrossed animal, just like the ones I'm seeing in my antibodies. Well, I hope I expanded your mind. Please share this video if you know of anybody that has really deep dreams. It really would help me out and it really would give out the message to more people who are trying to work on their jumping timelines, correcting timelines, premonition timelines, even if you want to be more psychic. This practice is like meditation. It really is. And a lot of symbols will start coming through. Okay, so like I said, press like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.